Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to log in and navigate Google Classroom. Google Classroom is the platform that we will use to support online learning beginning March 16, all the way until classes resume. So first, what you need to do is open up a web browser, go to the address bar and type in classroom.google.com. Perfect. Now we're here in the landing page. The next thing we need to do is we need to sign in using our Apex Schools email account. Now, it is important that we sign in or log in using our Apex Schools email account because if we use a different email address, we won't be able to join the classes that our facilitators or our teachers created for us. So to sign in, click on the sign in link go to Google Classroom, and then sign in using the username and password given to you. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, that's my username. And I click Next. Let me type my password. and click Next. All right, perfect. Now, here you can see all the classes that are available to you. If you log in for the first time, Google will most likely give you a quick tour of the platform. If you also get invited, by your teacher, you will see something like this, but there is a button here that says accept the invite or decline. So if you see those options, make sure that you accept the invite from your teacher so that you can successfully enter the classes that we've created for you. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to enter this class that I am enrolled in. So just simply click that. And here we go. Right now, what I want to do is I want to show you and give you a quick tour of the basic features of Google Classroom. So right now, we are in the Stream tab. So you see Stream. And what you will immediately notice is that Stream is kind of like Facebook. So if you've used Facebook or if you are a user of Facebook, this would look quite the same. You have a header here but you cannot change this because only your teachers can. But you have a share feature here. So this is like uh, your news feed on Facebook. So for example, I wanna put a comment and I wanna talk to my classmates or I wanna talk to my teacher. I can say something like, hi, classmates, good morning. I hope you are all excited for this online learning. When you're done, simply click post and boom, there you go. This is your comment to your classmates and your teacher can also see this. Now, like Facebook, your classmates can also add their own comments here. You can interact with them and so on and so forth. So I believe that's pretty cool. You're gonna love that. Another feature that I wanna share with you is that aside from a normal comment, you can also add videos, uh, you can attach a file, you can attach a link. So let me show you how to do that. So first, click on the share with your class and then say something like, hi, everyone. I found this interesting video about coronavirus. Please watch and tell me what you think. Now, instead of just clicking on post, you can click on add and you're given four different options. So Google Drive is if you want to add something that is already in your Google Drive. OK, 
Okay, so if I click that, I will see all of the files that are in my Google Drive. But that's not what I want to do, right? Because I want to show a video about Corona. Another one or another option is Link. Now, in Link, you can put in websites like you know Google.com or Wikipedia if you want to share a Wikipedia article or whatever website you want to share. The third is a file. So if you have a file saved in your computer, like you know you have a presentation that you want to uh, share with your classmate, or you have an Excel file that you want to share with your classmate, or a picture perhaps, because you're working on a picture uh, as part of your project, then you can choose that, and then you can just browse from you know your your files on your computer. But for this demonstration, what we want to do is we want to share a video about coronavirus. Now, the neat thing about Google Classroom is that YouTube is embedded in it. So instead of having to go to www.youtube.com, all you really need to do is use the search function here and type something like coronavirus, for example. Click on search. And there you go. It shows you all related uh, videos uh, around coronavirus. So we can just pick any video here that we think would be a good one to share. So I'm going to choose this. I'll click on add. And look, you see, the video is automatically added here. You didn't have to go outside of Google Classroom. YouTube was embedded. Click on post. And boom, you should be good to go. So I think that's great. I think that's a fantastic feature that you, know, you might want to use. The next one that I want to show you is classwork. So most of the time, aside from going through your stream, you'd want to go to your classwork because this is where you will see your attendance. So if you need to check if you need to mark yourself as present, then you click that, and then you take a look at the question, you choose this, and then you mark yourself present, okay? So you go to classwork if you want to mark your attendance. Now, aside from attendance, uh, you will also see all of the things that you have to go through for that week, or in some cases, for two weeks. So in this particular example, we're looking at online learning for weeks March 16 uh, and also March 23, right? So for March 16 to 27, these are the things that we have to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one, online task. So this is an English class. This is just an example, not the actual class. And we can go ahead and click on this document here. It opens up a Google Doc. And here you can see the learning objectives that we've prepared for you for the week. We also have created and attached links to articles that you can read and videos that you can watch. We also have activities here that you can do virtually with your classmates. Okay, so when you access this and you'll have one on one set of online tasks per week, sometimes for two weeks, make sure that you go through everything completely, all right? So when you're done with that, click on view assignment, and let's say, because I submitted this earlier, let's say I unsubmit it. So let's say you're done with your work, right? What you want to make sure you do is click on mark as done because this signifies to your teacher that you have accomplished all of your tasks for the week. So let's pretend that I have gone through all of these things. I've read these articles. I've watched these videos. I did all of these activities with my classmates and I'm done for the week. All I need to do is click mark as done, mark as done and I'm good to go, right? I'm all set. Now, in the event that you have some questions for your teacher and you don't want your question to be seen by other classmates, you can send a private message to your teacher. So let's say, for example, you have a question and you type in, hi, teacher. 
I need help uh, on reading article number two. Can we set a virtual chat or meeting? So you can do that. Click on post. And what happens is this message goes straight to your teacher. And it's just between you and the teacher. And you can wait for your teacher to respond. So while you are in this online class, so for example, you're in the 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and this is an English class, your teacher is also going to be inside the classroom. So uh, you can interact with your teacher real time and uh, you can also send private messages or you can go back to your classroom and then you know ask your question in the stream. You can also ask questions in the classwork. Right, so right now we only have resources for weeks March 16 to 27. As you progress, then you'll see other weeks here, right? Um, another thing I wanna show to you is people. So when you click on people, you'll see your teachers, you can send them an email, and then you'll also see your classmates. Cause right now I'm the only student enrolled, so I don't see anyone else. But in reality, what you'll see are all your other classmates here. Okay, so what you'll notice is that Google Classroom is pretty simple and straightforward to use. It works much like Facebook. I think you're gonna love it. And we're all very excited to meet you online and virtually see you on March 16th.